a great lunch. Uh, um, so welcome back for our first afternoon session. I'd like to introduce all of our awesome speakers. We have Erin, Jenny, Grace, Gabby, Morgan, Audrey, and Jen. These yeah. women have faced many challenges throughout their lives, but I first are here through each one. They're amazing examples of beauty and strength and are so excited to share their stories of overcoming obstacles and celebrating accomplishments. So without further ado, have them share their stories. Before the ladies tell you about themselves, I just wanted to also give you an overview about um, who we represent. Um, we are from Friends of Broomfield, and um, we participate in activities that help with daily living skills, with residential options, with supported employment, um, and then a Monday through Friday day program where we're constantly working on skills for daily life. Uh, we have a pretty robust social and travel program. And um, these ladies are some of our ambassadors of the organization. And as uh, Rachel said, they're just amazing examples um, of perseverance and success. So to get started, I, I think we'd like to just share with you um, a little bit about each of them. So I will go ahead and, and um, ask you each um, to state your name and, and then just say one thing that describes you as a person. And we'll start with Erin. I'm Erin. I like, I work at Arc Thrift Stores and I also have been involved with Friends of Brooklyn and Friends Forever for a long time. I'm Gabby and I'm Lodge Pizza. Say it nice and loud I'm so we can pick your voice Lodge Pizza. Been there for three years now and it's the best thing that's ever happened to me like work-wise and I'm always over there like always. <laughs> so it seems like I'm never at my apartment which is kind of true. But. You know, I'm always doing something, so. Go ahead. My name is Morgan. Morgan. I work with my dogs. She works with dogs? Yeah. And what is, what's the name of your work? City Bark. City Bark? I, as well, work at the same place as Morgan. You forgot your name. And I'm Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> but I end up doing the check-in, check-out system. Grace, and I'm 22 years old, and one thing about me that was hard in my life was I went through cancer and I was very sick. Okay, thank you. Jen, your turn. Jen, I am 30 years old. And your name? My name's Jennifer Eck. Awesome. And I don't... Mm -hmm. my, name is my name is Jenny, and I love to sew. Thank you. Can you ladies share with us the thing that you are most proud of? I'm most proud that I can do things anybody else can do, just a little differently, um, especially with my job. Like they never told me I could have a job. So I've been at two jobs, three actually, but the university and ARC. And the ARC has been the most amazing job like, I've ever had. Because um, they don't tell you you can't do this. They, don't, they give you help, support. So it's a very good place to be, so, you know. What kinds of things do you do at your job? Oh, I do the toys. The knickknacks, the clothes, tagging clothes, whatever my manager basically tells me to do, I do it, or I, I do whatever I need to get done. Um, I'm also an ambassador for that um, organization, so I do um, twice a month. We have um, one is a social aspect, so we do social activities like karaoke is our next one, and then we learn about like sign language and like gardening and all that. So. That's also why I like it, because I get the social aspect of being with friends 
and work. So I get both in one. And then of course this too. Um, so yeah, I'm really proud of myself for accomplishing that. Nice, thank you. I'm, I'm most proud of being at my pizza for three years and just having like that family aspect of of my job is like is huge and they're like really accepting and they my boss w always wants to see like what what things I can handle and gives me different like just different things different opportunities that I don't I would have never thought I would have I would have and um and then being being with friends is being the residential like the three programs I'm a part of is pretty darn cool and just being who I am as as a person is something I will never take for granted. And Gabby also made a big move a couple of years ago. You want to share? About your living arrangements. <laughs> I mean, is it? I just talk about the one I'm currently in right now. Yes. Okay. I have my own one-bedroom apartment. Um, it's through friends. It's with friends of Broomfield and a cafe place. And it's. Um, I went. We found out about it last year, and then moved in almost a year ago. And my parents and friends of Broomfield have seen tremendous growth in me as a person, human, and I'm, my self-esteem has gone up tremendously. So I'm living on my own with support through friends. So it's the best thing that's happened to me within a year. Very proud. Okay. Morgan. Morgan, what are you most proud of? Work my dogs. You work with dogs? Yeah. Can you talk about some of the challenges that you've had and the things that you've overcome? My legs. Yeah. And what, why do you have your prosthetic? Because I'm, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I have issues. Mm-hmm. Yes. So yeah. it helps and you walk better, huh? Yes. Yep. And you, you have cerebral palsy. Yes. And, but this helps you walk. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when, what, tell us what race you're really fast at. Knees. Knees. <laughs> <laughs> so during a campy trip, Morgan challenges everyone to a knee race. <laughs> And we all have to wear it's pretty funny. knee pads <laughs> and race her down the hall and she takes off um, her prosthetic. And she beats us every time. And she beats us every time. <laughs> I want to do that. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> but you've done a lot to, yeah. to adjust oh. and you are very good about yeah. telling everyone how to support you and what needs to be done. Yeah. And yeah. do you do things like? Swim and all, and yeah, yeah. yeah, she does. So that doesn't hold you back. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Okay, Audrey. The Great. thing I'm most proud of is I've been away from mom for almost a year, year and a half. She moved to Arizona and then back to Denver. And I also, like Gabby, live in residential, but I'm in what we call a hostel which just means we have a person come in to, the, or we go into a person's house and they help us do stuff. Provide that shelter for you. And support. Support. Mm -hmm. And this, this May, I'm going to be moving away from my parents and Ooh. we'll be going on a camping trip with friends up to Estes Park. That'll be fun. That's right. I'm, I'm going excited about it because one of my friends that lives across from me is also going to be coming. Oh, that's exciting. And he's a year younger than me. 
And Grace, have you been on the camping trip before? No. Nope. No. <laughs> I'm going on it. So is this the first time you'll be away from home overnight? Yep. That's, that's yep. a big deal. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's a big step. It's a big, big step. Mm -hmm. I and was I'll tell you when I moved out my first time. I, yeah, like, I will tell you. Yeah, the no, two camps, again. the one that we've gone to more, most recently is more handicapped accessible. I'm going on the camping crew. And Jen, you're going also. Mm -hmm. And Jenny. Yes. It's a popular activity, but mm -hmm. tell us, are you, what are you proud of, Jen? Eck. Jen. What are you most proud of? I, I am not, I am not most proud of anything. I know there's a lot of things that you do well. What job have you been volunteering at for many years now? I I was doing shopping and, and cleaning the books. And book? You worked with uh, Brofield Library, correct? Yes. Anything else? Well, I think I would say that Jen also is extremely good at understanding the Dewey Decimal System, which is kind of archaic. Mm -hmm. Our not, old, our old system. It's a very old system of filing. You probably don't know any of it. She is very good at it, very detail-oriented, um, has done uh, some internships with the Broomfield Library, and is <clears throat> now looking at another job working in the library, but always talking about other job opportunities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jenny? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. What are you proud of? I'm proud that I got to go to Hawaii. Well, Hawaii. And I traveled with my mom. And where'd you go with mom? You went to Hawaii, you went with friends, correct? And then you did go to Arizona with your family. Mm -hmm. So Jen, Jenny loves to travel. And can you remember the other places that you've traveled to? Hey, what? I traveled to my aunt's house. And did you go, didn't you travel somewhere far away to a different country? Costa, um, Costa Rica. So I went to Costa Rica. That was probably me. But I went to Costa Rica too. And you did too? Yeah. For why? So when we started back in, our... Back in September. Because we have a travel through friends. I so went, I went with my parents. They do that. I didn't go with friends, but mine was through parents, so. Yeah. So part of our social and travel is giving people opportunity to take week-long or extended weekend trips to places around the United States. And the and world. Around. Without parents. And the world. Which I'm scared so, of doing. Yeah. So <laughs> Costa Rica was a, a trip that was, that was really special. Um, New York was another one. New York. Like Las Vegas. Camping. Camping. We've traveled <laughs> to Estes Park and to Snow Mountain Ranch. I mean, we had never gone to Snow Mountain. Nope. So, you haven't gone to Snow Mountain. But what camp do you go to? Easter Seals. The Easter Seals. Right. Yeah. Uh, Easter Seals. Yeah. I don't know. You'd have to ask Morgan because she's We're been there the several Seals. times. Camp Mountain. Can, would you guys feel comfortable sharing some of the things that you have overcome? Yes. Can you talk about some things that have been challenging in your life and, and how you've overcome those? Yes. Or if you're still overcoming them. And if you, you can take turns or you can raise your hand however you'd like to share. Okay. Well, number one, they said I wouldn't walk. And then my mom, because of my hip, one of my hips was out of alignment when I was born. So I'm developmentally, that's my disability, developmentally delayed and social emotional. So she put me into dancing and that helped. So ever since then I still continued to dance since I was four years old. 
So I did jazz, tap, hip hop, modern. And now I do whatever I want, because who cares, you know? If you're good, bad, just dance, you know? Um, also, they told me I didn't have a job. Well, hello, I have a job. <laughs> what? Like, doctors don't tell me what I can't do, because obviously you were wrong. You know, I did it all. Like, don't, don't say that I can't do anything. That'll just make me more determined to do it. <laughs> like, that's... That's something that people put on us. Like that's, and it's hard, you know, mm -hmm. um, because we go to jobs and they don't accept us, you know. But with support, mm -hmm. we do. We get the help. Um, yeah, me. <laughs> and then I fell at uh, one of my other jobs, so now I have another one on top of that, which is a chronic illness because of my back. So it's another disability. But that's not who I am. It's just a part of me, you know? Like, you all have different things you're good at, different obstacles you have to overcome in your own lives. So don't give up. Just keep going. You know? It's just part of life. It's a part of being you. Don't ever change who you are either, you know? Because people say, you have to be someone you're not. I've tried that. That doesn't work either. <laughs> Just be you. I mean, there's no other you out there, right? There's no other me, no other Gabby. Nobody else in this room is nobody. They're all different. Okay, I'm going to have everybody else go. Because okay. I'm just falling <laughs> a mess of tears. I will go. Um, okay. Things I've overcome have been... Um, Be loud and proud, Gabby. <laughs> uh, moving away from me, going down to Roswell Cup for two years, and then um, finishing school online during the during that time, what and um, dealing with um, just different family members moving, moving like. To Charleston, that's a cousin of mine, and then have another happy family that moved to moved to Missouri. So I don't always don't always get to talk to them, but I know that they're in my heart. And um, another thing is, it's just like they told me, "Oh, you'll never have a job." Look at me now, three years later. Yeah. So I'm still at mod, dealing with this crazy monkeys. <laughs> they are crazy. I'm the one that holds them down. Um, they are crazy. It's the truth. You've got a couple of races, um, right? Um, Promotion. I'm, other things I've overcome. Um, Um, and I, I would have never, I never thought I would graduate college with honors, not once but twice, and getting straight A's my second year of college, all three semesters, I would have never thought I would get, how graduate with honors twice through college, so I was pretty, pretty, I was determined, like, you know what, I want to do honors and, you know, was it challenging? Yeah, but I did it. And I look back now and I did it and that will be a part of me for all the rest of my life. But I was, you know, went to, down to college, moved out of state, and then having that on top of it and having my own apartments, so that's... There's a lot of things I've over I've overcome that are try is really t huge and tremendous. And meeting meeting Aaron's. <laughs> I love you. Love you. Too. <laughs> yeah. And meeting all these beautiful women. So I will let you go next, Morgan. What is your biggest challenge, Morgan, that you've overcome, or something hard in your life that you have conquered? Well, walking 
Walking. 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 Learning to walk. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that that has slowed you down? No. <laughs> Was that hard when you first had to learn? <coughs> Yes. Did you have to put in a lot of hours of work? Yes. Who helped you learn? My PT. Your PT? Yes. Physical therapist? Yes. I'll bet you did that for a lot of years, huh? Yes. Yeah. Stubby going, stubby going. Yeah, you're still going. Not anymore. Oh, not anymore? You stopped going? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Are there any other challenges no. that you faced? No? No. Okay. For me, I would say the challenges or the obstacles I've overcome is I have it really bad anxiety, so even being in New York in Times Square was a big deal. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You've also had some rough, rough um, challenges in life, haven't you, with your family? And yes, Dad passed away almost two years ago, three, mm -hmm. and very suddenly. Very suddenly. And then mom moved. Yes. And you were In required to become Miss Independent. Yes. And look at you now. Yeah. <laughs> and some of the challenges in my life that I have overcome is yes. cancer. Cancer. And... Um, has that been something that you have faced since you were little? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, How did it feel going through those times? It was hard and I was very sick. I had it when I had leukemia. How old were you? How old were you, Grace? I was one. So you don't remember a whole lot about it. No. But you had a lot I of health stuff. My younger sister that's in California, she saved my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, you know, one thing I remember um, is that Grace also um, suffers from epilepsy and she had, seizures. she had a big uh, brain surgery in 2017 when she was in high school to yeah. help with some of her seizures and, and what was so ones, wonderful was like three and months the worst later, ones were my drop seizures. your drop seizures, she because would just drop, like, fall flat on her face or fall all the way backwards. Yep. But three months after that surgery, she was climbing mm -hmm. Mount Rainier in the state of Washington. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, because That's my amazing. Older sister is, is in Seattle, and my aunt is also in Seattle. Yeah. And then Grace, like two years ago, had a liver transplant. And then two months after she was the liver walking. transplant, she was walking. She was walking <laughs> at the Friends fashion I was like, show. what? <laughs> <laughs> I was my she, was, cousin. she was determined to be in the fashion show. Yeah, my cousin show. was walking with me last year. So Grace has had lots of... But she's of, taller than me. Yeah, Grace has had lots <laughs> of medical that. challenges, but she just like, get me out of the hospital. And I don't want to be here. To yeah. my regular stuff that I love yeah. to do. I, I was I like, I'm like that too. But when I had brain surgery, I had to learn to walk again. Yeah. And I was using a walker. Uh -huh. Had to learn to walk, had to learn how to feed yourself again, how to yep. talk. Yep. How long was that recovery well, for? Well, that was in 2017. She was only in the hospital for three weeks and then... She learned all that in three weeks? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. A lot Incredible. of intense therapy. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of strength and yep. patience and perseverance to get through those yeah. kinds of challenges. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And look at you, nobody would ever notice yeah. that. Yeah, I look at Grace and I'm like, what? Yeah, I would never <laughs> even know. Still yep. lots of spunk. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a lot <laughs> times of spunk. And sass. And sass, yes. Okay, yes. Jen? Yeah. Hi. Your turn. What's something hard, Jen, that you've had to work on or something hard in your life that you remember? A challenge for you? I can't think of one. No? No. Do you like being around lots of people? Such as who? Such as all of the friends at Friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes? Do you remember when that was kind of hard to be around lots of people? Because mm -hmm. it was kind of overwhelming. Lots going on. That lots was of noise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Things like that. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, mm -hmm. it can be hard. Yes. And you, you have 
come in and you've made lots of new friends. Mm -hmm. yep. You're very interested in what everyone's doing mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. very social. And I think, <laughs> let's see, was it last year or the year before? It was the first time that Jen had been in the fashion show. And mom said, I just don't think she's going to like doing that because I don't know that she's going to want to be in front of people. And she was. And she loved it. And she had the biggest smile on her face, which you can see, I think, on our website. And then you were in the variety show. Yeah. And she just says, I think you've accomplished and overcome a lot of, of those. Yep. Things that people thought you may not do. Yeah. And she went to down. Mm -hmm. She went down to the same college I went to, too. So and Hannah right. too. Yeah, and, and, and Hannah, our friend yeah. Hannah. Yeah, so she, they all went to the same uh, us three. school. Yeah, there's a college in Roswell, New Mexico, that has a. Is it a two-year program? Yeah. yeah. Two. It. It depends on like, if you want to do one program, you can, like, do one year of that program, and then you can come back and do another year. That's what I did, and I don't know about Jen and Hannah, though, so. I think they did two years. Yeah, if they were. And you learned vocational skills, yeah. is that right? And, yeah. And it's the first time to be off on yeah. your own with a roommate right, away yeah. from family. Mm -hmm. So a chance to build some of those independent skills. And I can say that I would have never imagined that I would fly home when I'm on my own. I'm sure <laughs> enough I did that, so. <laughs> So that so Jen also went to yeah, yeah. Roswell. Her and um, Hannah were roommates. Hannah, another yeah, and I came. That must have been a hard thing to hate and Hannah. Okay. And yeah. you, did you enjoy that? Yes, I did. Did you learn a lot there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What was your favorite thing about it? I I. My favorite was going to school there. Just going to school and learning. Did you learn mm -hmm. a lot? I I. I can't think of what I learned. Yeah, I'm sure that you did. Jenny, Jenny what has been your biggest challenge? What do you think? In your life? What's been hard for you? Your grandparents or grandma? Grandma passed away. Is that recently? That was hard. Were you close to your grandma? Okay. Did you have people that were there to support you when that happened? Yeah. Well, what uh, help? Mm -hmm. Your brother? What? Your sister? What? Yeah. Were you? Were there other challenges that that you've you know had happened? Like. I'm sure everyone's noticing that you're signing. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Can you talk about your hearing loss? I about my hearing loss. I it's hard it for me to vocalize and talk. Mm -hmm. Do most people understand you when you sign? Just a little bit. <laughs> well, do you think that it's easier when people are signing? Uh. A lot. <laughs> so a lot easier. Yeah. I can tell you just being with Jenny. We've been around her a lot so we can tell what she's saying. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. but with other people it's kind of different. And I was going to say being with her on day program Tuesday through Friday, we know if she needs something or wants something. You work at the front desk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, Audrey. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Audrey does work at the front desk. She worked there. Yes, she does. She has done. Audrey has sat in as our um, office office manager when our office manager is absent. Audrey will sit Julia. in the front desk. Yeah. And take yep. Julia. Phone calls and and notes and everything. Yeah. Messages. Yeah. Yeah. You were thinking about Julia Hughes. Uh, yes, we do have an office manager named Julia Hughes. She has very and that is hair. She has really black hair. <laughs> And, this is what thing and she is the person that greets everyone when they come into our building. Yes. Okay, Jenny. Yes. This is one thing I know. Julia brought her grandma and her mom last year for my Christmas show. Wow. That, that me 
and my friend Tina were in. You were in a show? I was in a Christmas show. And and did you sing or dance or both? Uh, I sang. Should we ask if they have any questions? Yep. And residential. Travel. And travel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're busy. Yes. Very busy. Which one do you like the best? I would say the travel. And where, and you said you've traveled to New York City? I have. I did Dollywood. She's done several. <laughs> I did the Gay mm -hmm. And in July, we're going to Steamboat Springs. Yeah. Nice. Morgan? I do a day program. Day program. Support. Supported employment. Start with the uh -huh. Nice. <laughs> social. Where is the show? Residential. Yeah. And social. She does social. Social business. travel. Social travel. Yeah. So you're too, you do all that too and you're very I busy. I start with the show. Yeah. Yeah. I start it next couple of weeks. Nice. Yeah. Is there, what else? Can you say something that you enjoy the most about all the programs you're involved in? No. <laughs> I know you love the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> she so loves. Mm -hmm. And what's the benefit of working at City Park? Who do you get to bring with you? When My you're... dog. <laughs> <laughs> so you get to bring your doggy with you and you go work. Yeah. That's pretty fun. Yep. Very good with, with the puppies. Yeah. Um, I, I'm involved in, what am I? Residential. Residential, support employment, and social. Depending on what, I'm, I wish I could do day program, but my work is, I'm always doing, I'm always at, at work doing something, so I'm just too busy to do the day and day program. I'm always doing something besides being over at friends. <laughs> They would work with you. I yeah. am a perfect example. I work Monday, Wednesday, and then do t day program. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Julie and Pat, who are in charge of day program, work with me, and they're like, "What days do you want to come in?" Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it all kind yeah, of works it's, together. Yeah. It just with my okay. schedule, I don't. I know week to week when I'm working. I don't know month to month. So. It's not a set schedule. Like yeah. Mine is a set schedule. So. Yeah. Well, Aaron. ladies, there were. Well, I didn't share mine. Sure. No, I know, and I want to come back to you. So share yours, but I also would like for you. I know, Erin, you said some really powerful things before, but since this is an empowerment conference, I would like for each of you to think about what you can share mm -hmm. with um, all of the ladies in the room. Um, one, some inspirational comment. What would you like? To them to know. <coughs> what would you like to say to them to help them become more empowered and more confident? Okay, so I do social program and then variety show and then the, so I do all the yeah. fundraising and then that's, you know, I can't do day program because my, I could only, if I did day program, come in twice a twice a week, but then I also do pet sitting on top of my other job, so that can be, <laughs> that can be a lot too, so I have, balancing it all is kind of hard, so sometimes I miss social programs because I pet sitting the dog that needs to be let out at night, so yeah. Very good. What would you guys like to say <sighs> to help inspire this group? That no matter what anybody says, to you, even at this age, you guys can do what you need or want. Because I was told, like Morgan, that I'm on the autism spectrum and I was told I would not be able to walk, talk, and look at me now. That's right. I can say that, um... And if you fail, just try it again. Like, keep trying until you succeed. The famous quote I like um, is, don't let your, <clears throat> your fears are bigger than your dreams. No, your dreams are bigger than your fears, and don't let your fears get in the way of what you want to do in life. Mm -hmm. um, 
That's one quote, and then another quote is, live like, live, no, laugh like there's no tomorrow, dance like, I can't remember what the rest of, rest of it says, but it's, it's that, it's that to that extent. So keep, keep up, wait, you fall, just get back get up. Get back up again. Yeah. Like, it's life, guys. Mm -hmm. it's, we all deal with it. Yeah. Grace, did you want to add something that to, will inspire the group? What would you like them to learn in life? Well, what have you learned? Well, lots of things I like to do. Is what like, makes you that strong person that you are? Well, I like to sing. Yeah, true. And, um, do you have like, that I'll never love. give up attitude? Yep. <laughs> no. Grace has a very positive but attitude I do and love friends. doesn't let anyone keep her down. No. But I love friends. I can tell you because on the variety show last she year, she was having a hard time even standing, so they had people sit in front of her and yep. behind her. We ha I had you and Mackenzie. Yep. Oh, during our, our Yeah, because she had trouble during the yeah. show. Yes. So yeah. last year at the variety show, I sang the song, Let It Be from the Beatles. Mm -hmm. Because the theme was songs from the 70s. Yeah. You were thinking about Mackenzie Oh, mm -hmm. I also have something else. She yeah, like. Aaron? To say, never let go, like keep dreaming. Yeah. Never let go of those dreams that you have. Cause Even if they, they seem. They could come true. Even if they seem impossible. Mm -hmm. They could still come true and later on in your life. Yeah. And I know that you're working as far as residential with a different company. Not necessarily friends, but you have different apartments coming in. Yeah, so we've, we've definitely worked, and our ambassadors have worked a lot with um, different efforts in the community to make sure that we have housing that's affordable. Mm -hmm. What is the new one that's opening up soon? What's it called? Have well, they we'll started it? will be opening it? soon, but it's called, I, it's called the Grove at Cottonwood, mm -hmm. and it'll be apartments for individuals with IDD, which is Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities. Um, it'll also involve others in the community, um, seniors, um, single moms, maybe, with one When is it? Kids. When do they say it's start it'll be, building? It'll be about two years. Mm -hmm. So they There's, haven't started building it? Mm -hmm. No, not yet. Mm -hmm. But these, these ladies have also given us a lot of input and yeah. have talked to their community leaders about what they need to be independent and to be able to be on their own in the community. I can say even, I'll share my mom's email, I don't drive and I'm it's hard just for me to get around. Mm -hmm. And Accessoride, which is a service that we use. It picks you up at your door. It's door to door. It would so, not go to that specific spot. Yeah, so that's another challenge that we'll have to figure out. And I also don't drive. That's right. Yeah. And my mom drives. <laughs> well, I wanted to drive, but I just don't like the people aspect of the roads. Yep. <laughs> no, not for me. Sorry. Jenny, did you have something you wanted to share to inspire our, our girls? Uh, what would you like them to know? Uh, happy. To be happy? Yeah. yeah. So. And just to continue? To be happy, the examples. Yep. Anyone else have anything else to add that we could say is inspiring? Oh, and I also like dogs too. <laughs> <laughs> nice dog I would say a lot of our classes that we do in day program, again the participant action comes up with, or Julian Pat asks us, what do you want to do? Like right now, we're in social media on Fridays. Right. So really, lots of opportunities, and um, yeah, thank you all for having us here and for the ladies to share their stories, and hopefully there's some inspiration they can pass on as they persevere through a lot of things individually. So they got through a lot of things. Really yeah. happy a to lot. be here. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you.
have made some a little, little bag token. to go out. So take one on your leave. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Miss. Thank you. <laughs>